Police officers in Hopkinton are usually known by their traditional navy blue uniform, but more recently they've been known to sport a much brighter color. Officer Brian Sanchione, responsible for bringing the Pink Patch initiative to the department, says they kicked off the Pink Patch project in support of Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and already by October 2nd, they were almost out. I should have expected that from our community. They would help us out with anything. They're always very supportive. Our community loves to get engaged with us, um, leave comments, create discussion. And we knew if we posted this to our Facebook and so other social media platforms, um, it would get out there and people would know about it. Yet the overwhelming response reached far more than just local residents. Several local businesses stepped up as well. One of our local merchants has been taking stacks of them and sell them, selling them in his business establishment and giving them away and he also <coughs> is matching what he's selling. Officer Sanchione says there's just one piece of the pink patch puzzle they haven't solved yet and are asking for your help. We donated the upfront cost of $420 and we expect to return, make a return on investment about six times that. All the proceeds that we're going to get, we haven't found an organization or foundation to donate to yet, so anyone watching, if you have any good ideas for a local charity, give us a call. Yet the success of the Pink Patch Project isn't the officer's only reason he's smiling. Officer Sanchione also received a new partner, and didn't mind me saying his partner is pretty cute. He's a good looking dog, for <laughs> sure. Officer Sanchione says the department has felt the need for a canine companion for years, and he's grateful that they now have the opportunity. Shifts that I've worked on, calls that I've been on, we've needed a dog plenty of times. And without having our own and without having one nearby, we're relying on mutual aid from most commonly state police, which they can be 15 minutes away or they can be 45 minutes away. So the idea of having our own is something that I always thought would be beneficial for this town. The big issue departments run into is the initial startup costs. It's a lot of different things you need to buy, including the dog, including food, equipment, cruiser changeover, vet bills, you know, you name it. So the initial startup cost is kind of the big thing that is a speed bump for most departments. And the Stanton Foundation is generous enough to provide the money to get that rolling. While Titan may still be in training, Sankioni says he's already become a strong asset to the team. We've used a dog in recent years a lot more than the community probably realizes that we've needed one. And it just unfortunately hasn't been our own dog. but. Um, we're lucky to have that change now. In Hopkinton, Emmeline Anderson, WMCT News.